Hey everyone, today we're going to explore some of the most fascinating theories and speculations that are buzzing around in the GTA 6 community. There's a lot of interesting stuff being discussed, from hidden details in the first trailer, to theories about the gigantic size of the game's map. Get ready to discover curiosities you might not have noticed, and theories that will make you even more excited for the release of this highly anticipated game. Let's dive into the secrets and surprises that GTA 6 may hold. On Reddit, user Kevin shared an interesting theory about the size of the GTA 6 map, based on details from the game's first trailer. He observed the highway exits shown in the trailer, using them as a clue to estimate the scale of the map. Kevin points out two particular scenes, one with a man making an obscene gesture beside a highway, and another with a woman in a convertible car. In both scenes, he identifies highway exit signs, suggesting they are near exits 14 and 18 on Interstate 97. Kevin also refers to leaked information and the community's mapping project, which places these highways near significant locations in the game. He speculates that the highway exits follow a realistic numbering system, increasing or decreasing every mile. This leads Kevin to believe that the map of GTA 6 could be much larger than initially thought. He even suggests that Interstates 97 and 404 may extend far beyond the known areas, indicating an expansive map. Although part of this theory is speculative, Kevin firmly believes that the map of GTA 6 will be huge, possibly including a circular highway, as in previous games in the series. Let's see what Kevin said. I believe that two blink and you will miss them shots from the trailer, combined with something I saw in the leaks, have given us a serious hint as to just how big the map for GTA 6 might turn out to be, specifically north and south. The first is the shot of the man grabbing his crotch while stopped on the side of the highway. Specifically, the highway exit signs in the background. They suggest that this shot is being taken from just north of exit 14 on the highway. If turning left has you going east and turning right has you going west. What's more, the GTA 6 mapping project believes that the highway that this shot is taken from is Interstate 97. Adding to this, there's this shot from earlier in the trailer of the woman in the gold dress hanging out the top of a convertible traveling down I-404, heading towards a junction with I-97. At the very start of that clip, you can catch the exit number on the sign she's driving under. You can't see all of it, but to me, it looks more like exit 18 than exit 1B. This one is more speculative though. Now, I'm about to get into the leaks, so I can't post any pictures. There's a clip in the leaks of a red ute heading northbound on I-97 towards the exit 13 AB junction that takes one to Washington Beach and Ikan Finaka before crashing. The mapping project has been using the leaks to create their maps, and they've placed that stretch of I-97 north of Mr. Crotchgrab from the trailer, running through the stockyard neighborhood. This, to me, indicates that the highway exits are going to follow a realistic number pattern, with the number increasing or decreasing for every mile traveled. The question is, where does this put exit 12? Exit 11? All the exits going up to 1? I've taken the latest version of the mapping project's map, and pointed out where exits 14 and 13 are located. Then extrapolating from there, and using the map's grid as a handy guide, I drew where all the exits further down the numbering scheme might be located. I ran out of room to put exit numbers at number 9. If I-97 is going to keep following the same numbering scheme all the way north until it hits exit 1, then it's likely that the map is going to be far bigger than we currently think it is, and what's been shown and plotted out so far. In fact, I think the only reason nothing's been plotted up there so far is because so much so far has focused on Vice City and its environs. I-404 too could wind up running just as far north, allowing for a few extra miles and exit numbers to accommodate it crossing the Everglades or Grass Rivers before turning north, as I-75 in real life does. Bottom line, the map for this game is going to be enormous. Some of you guys have brought up another possibility here, that I-97 could be a loop highway running around the edge of the map like in GTA 5. This is possible but I've mostly discounted it for one simple reason. I-404, as mentioned earlier, has exit numbers, and by extension, highway markers, that are even higher, indicating that it too is a very long highway, one that I believe runs west until it hits the Gulf of Mexico, and then turns north like the real I-75 does. If the map ends not far north of where it currently cuts off, and I-97 turns west and south, and that's why it's so long, then it stands to reason that I-404 would do the same in the opposite direction, 
Having two loop highways is not completely outside the realm of possibility, but it would be redundant. What's more, in 5, the loop highway was technically not just one highway, but had two different names as it went around the map. The part along the Pacific coast was called the Great Ocean Highway, while the inland part running through the desert was called the Senora Freeway. The freeways within Los Santos also had different names and numbers, even when they flowed into each other, as the Del Perro, Elysian Fields, and La Puerta freeways all did. My hypothesis currently is that there is a loop highway, but that I-97 and I-404 are two halves of it. They both start in Vice City and intersect in Crosstown, I-97 runs up the Atlantic coast. I-404 runs west through the Grass Rivers, and then turns north to run up the Gulf Coast, and they both meet at a point further north. Whether that point is a city, a smaller town, or something else, that is still unknown. On Reddit, user Deku807 presented their theory about the possible size of the GTA 6 map. They note that there are still many unknowns about the northern part of the map, suggesting that it could be larger than current projections indicate. Deku807 speculates that the map could be three to four times larger than that of GTA 5, based on the extent of Vice City's beach areas on the map and logical geography. They raise the possibility that the map includes areas inspired by Florida cities like Tampa and Orlando, which wouldn't fit within the current map boundaries if represented. Moreover, they mention that a map of these proportions would more closely resemble the actual shape of Florida. Let's see what Deku807 said. Since we don't know what's in the northern part of the map, and we're not sure if it ends where the current mapping project suggests, I thought the map could look something like this. I get that a map like this might be three to four times bigger than GTA 5, so it could be a lot, but we can't be sure about Rockstar's plans. I also think so because on the east coast of the current map, we have Vice City's predicted beach areas going almost to the very top. Kind of feels like the map shouldn't just end there. And if Port Gellhorn is based on Fort Myers, then maybe Tampa and Orlando could be there too. But with the current borders, there's not enough space even for a small town. Also, shaped like this, the map would resemble actual Florida more. What do you think? Thanks everyone, I hope you enjoyed another video full of theories and speculations about GTA 6. If you have any theories or noticed any details that we didn't mention, drop them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to not miss upcoming videos. Until next time folks, and stay tuned for more news about GTA 6. Bye!